Hello and welcome to episode one of the BHS Primary 7 Transition TV. My name is Mr Lauder, one of the PE teachers here at Balfron High School, as well as one of the principal teachers of pupil support. I'm delighted to bring to you over the next um, few weeks up until the summer holidays, a weekly episode of Balfron High School Transition TV. What is it going to involve? Well, over the next few weeks, we are going to have different guests joining us on the show to tell us more about uh, what life is like at Balfron High School and to answer some of the questions that you may have. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by our first two guests. Um, our first guest today is Miss Barentine, head teacher. Um, Miss Barentine, I wonder if you could introduce yourself and um, tell us a little bit about your job and also maybe a wee interesting fact about yourself. Wow, uh, lovely to meet everybody and a massive welcome to Balfron High and Balfron High TV. Thanks for organising this, Mr Lauder. It's a Balfron High first, so I'm very excited to be part of it and um, on the first episode. So, um, my job... My job sometimes feels like it's absolutely everything to do with Balfron High and quite right it should be. I suppose ultimately my job is to make sure that we do our very best at Balfron High and make sure everybody gets the best, highest quality chances, experiences they possibly can when they're here. So that might involve things like looking at the curriculum and what we actually teach. It, it involves looking at how we teach it and deliver it and making sure that we're cutting edge and as good as we can be, making sure teachers are supported to do a great job um, and making sure that I link closely with the pupils. I've got a brilliant head prefect team so that I can hear their views around how it's going and is it going well enough and listening carefully to their ideas. That's a small flavour of my job and it changes every Every single day but they're probably the key things you put me on the spot a wee bit here about a, an, an, an interesting fact about myself um i suppose lockdown's been pretty good in some ways some ways in that it's allowed me to reconnect with things i wouldn't have otherwise had a chance and i've, I've refound my passion for cycling and those of you who are on Twitter might see the occasional photograph of areas of Glasgow where I go out on my bike when I get a chance, particularly when the sun is shining. And I absolutely love that. But other than that, um, my passions, I suppose, I love to cook and I love to travel. So I've only been managed to managing to travel on my bike so far, but I'm looking forward to when the restrictions um, end and I can get moving in the holidays again. Thank you very much, Ms. Bantai. Well, hopefully the weather improves and you can enjoy um, travelling around Scotland over the summer. And our other guest um, today is Dr. Applequist, um, one of our deputy head teachers. So, Dr. Applequist, I wonder if you could introduce yourself and your role within the school. Hi, so huge welcome, Peace Evans. Really looking forward to you all coming up and us getting to know you that little bit better this year. Um, Interesting fact about myself, well, one of the things that I absolutely love to do, and I've kind of done it for a long, long time now, is I'm a bit of a runner. Um, but one of the, the things I really like is trail running. And there's some fantastic trails around here. So you may well, if you live in Drimmon, uh, you may well see me kind of up on the West Highland Way in that area. I've done a few runs in the Cologne area as well and, and down in that neck of the woods. Uh, but one of the goals, big goals I've got this year is I've entered the Loch Ness marathon and this will be the first time i'll have ever done a marathon so i'm quite excited about that um one of the things my job involves though here at the high school is yes that's as mr lord has said i am a deputy head teacher um and i'm really really busy at the minute organizing your transition um and that's a big job for me at this time of year and i've got a team of people who help me mr lord is one of them um, and we're making sure that your transition is going to be really exciting. You'll get lots and lots of opportunities to make new friends. Um, and hopefully you'll have a super experience when you come up. Um, I'm also in charge of Endrick House. So anybody that's going to go into Endrick House, um, I'll get to know you that little bit better um, as well. Um, <clears throat> And one of the things I'll be doing is I'll be popping into all of your classes because S1 is a year group that I'm responsible for. Um, I'll be coming around, popping in, hopefully getting to know you that little bit better. But the other thing as well is I'm actually a chemistry teacher. So you never know, um, you might have me as your teacher as 
Wow. And one of the things that I really, really enjoy most, I suppose, about working at Balfour High is just working with young people on a day to day basis. And no two days um, are the same here. So really looking forward to you coming up. Thank you very much, Dr. Applequist. Um, so, Ms. Ballantyne, um, obviously the, uh, these 27 pupils are joining us uh, at Balfour High School for the first time. And what, what can they expect? What, what would you say about, makes Balfour High School so special? And, and what is it that um, these young people are, are joining and becoming a part of? Okay, I, I, I agree. Balfour High is the most special school I've ever, ever been in. And I've been in quite a few. Um, of course, I am biased, but it is a fabulous place to come and learn, to come and get to know people. Um, and to experience things that will make you ready for life beyond school. What makes Balfron different? The people, the people and the experiences that are available. We look to update our curriculum all of the time. So the formal stuff is really good quality and exactly what is needed to develop knowledge and skills that will get young people ready for whatever comes next, whether that's the world of work immediately, a college, university, and just becoming great people, to be honest. Um, but whew, what, what makes Balfron special? You'll hear no doubt later in this TV thing that we've got lots and lots of extracurricular activities and it's one of our big aims is to make sure that you guys find your thing and we know that you're all different. So we take a great pride in listening to young people and offering a wide range. And just the other night at the parents meeting, I heard Mr. Lauder himself say to a parent, look, if your child is looking for something that we don't do, let us know and we will find a way to access that. I think the key thing that makes Balfron High School great is the way the people behave and the way the people you know, act across the school. And that's very much based on our school values which we all share. So we all aspire to be respectful to one another, to take responsibility for ourselves and the community, to be honest when we're dealing with each other, uh, to be trustworthy and fair in our dealings with each other. So there are Balfron High School values. And I think that when everybody models them and thinks about, am I, am I behaving in a way that shows the values, it makes the school an absolutely fabulous place for everyone. And, and, and I can say, without fear or favour, that the staff do that really, really well. And so do most of the pupils all of the time. So I hope that you'll take on those values when you join us and no doubt make the place just as good for yourselves and each other. Thanks, Ms. Bantine. And hopefully for some of our Primary 7, that maybe <coughs> settles some of the nerves and just highlights how safe a, a place you're coming um, to join us <coughs> here at Balfron. And as Ms. Bantine says, we will help you find your thing. So, Dr. Hapquist, you've told us a little bit about your role in terms of being involved with uh, organising the Primary 7 transition. So, what have our Primary 7 pupils got to look forward to? What, what is going to be part of the Primary 7 transition programme this year? Yeah, so one of the first things we're hoping to really be able to do this year is an extracurricular programme. And that runs in the month of May. And hopefully, fingers crossed, um, Active Sterling and our own PE team will be putting that on. And you get the opportunity to come up after uh, primary school has finished and take part in lots of different sporting um, activities. Now, if that's not able to go ahead still because of possible COVID restrictions still being in place, then the school itself has done lots of virtual extracurricular activities. Um, and so we're just going to kind of get you involved and hook you up with some of the things that are going on already. Um, so that's the month of May. Um, in June, you'll have your transition three days coming to the high school. So the first day you'll be in your classes and you'll be following your August timetable and hopefully you'll get to experience lots and lots of different subject areas. So maybe science, maths and social subjects um, and possibly do be in some areas where you just haven't had that experience before. On the Wednesday of the transition day, it's a big sports festival. This is the very first of our inter-house competitions. So you'll be in your houses, you'll be with your form classes. In the mornings, you get to have a go at different sports. And then in the afternoon, it's a competition. You'll come back to us on the Thursday and it's another day of following uh, your timetable as well. Um, quite possibly you'll be in different subjects again. Um, you'll come up on the school bus 
so you will experience being part of the the school bus as well and and the ride up to to school but there'll be lots and lots of people around on these days to kind of help you to make sure that you don't get lost that you you'll be in the right places at the right time then you'll come back to us in august um, and it'll be full steam ahead with your full timetable. Um, and in September, on the third week in September, we've got very exciting days whereby each house takes a day and we go down to Ock and Gillen Activity Centre, which is literally just 10 minutes down the road from here. And you'll get a day to experience lots of different activities. There's archery, there's climbing, um, there is a, a laser tag and one of the all time favorites is some raft building and getting out on, on the water. Um, and so you'll be with your fun classes, you'll be with the other fun class in your house as well. You'll get to know your fun class leader that a little bit better, uh, people in your house, and you'll also get to know the pupil support team. So this is kind of how the transition is going to look over the next few months for you. Yeah, really, really exciting program uh, lined up. And what I would just say to the Prime Simmons is just keep an eye on the Transition Google Classroom. Uh, there'll be lots of information about all these different things um, coming up. And uh, we'll also talk more about them in some of our future episodes. So as um, Dr. Apocas has mentioned, there's going to be lots of opportunities for you to meet with other pupils prior to starting in August. So when you come up in August, you'll have already have a great idea of some of the other pupils in your classes. Um, and moving back to Ms. Bantine, um, some of our pupils are feel, our Princeton pupils are feeling a little bit anxious, which I think is understandable about coming up um, to high school and much bigger building, so many more pupils. What would your message be to some of those pupils? I think, first of all, it's important to recognise it would be perfectly normal, as you've alluded to, to feel that. You probably have a mixture of excitement and nervousness just thinking about it. So my, my message would be take a big deep breath, um, embrace the opportunities and the chances that are going to come your way and know that we'll be doing everything we can to help you ourselves but also the senior pupils will have a really major role in that so we'll have some new prefects who will be new sixth years um, who will be there to help you should you feel you're getting lost or unsure where to go or what to do there will be an absolute army of support of people who are being you know responsible and wanting to make sure that you're having a great time and, and making sure that you're safe and able to do the best you can so please know that we will do everything we can to make it as easy as possible for you. Thank you very much. Um, Dr. Dr. Abacus, a common question that's, that's been coming up on our um, Primary 7 Google Classroom um, has been pupils asking about their new classes and when are they going to get to find out what house form class they're going to be in, who's going to be their form class leader. Um, are you able to give us a little bit more information as to when the pupils could maybe expect to find that out? Um, and when, I know that they will be excited to find it out, so just... Um, to make them aware please yeah so you'll find out which classes you're actually going into in the first week in june um and so you'll know um prior to coming up to us when you meet your actual form class leader so first week in june and just to kind of give you a little bit of an idea of how i organize the classes if you've already got a sibling a brother or a sister that's at the school and they're in a particular house then we do try where possible to put you in the same house um, as your sibling. Um, one of the things I do as well with the classes is I create six form classes. So there are two in Campsie House, two in Endrick House, and there'll be two in uh, Lomond House. Um, and so you'll go into one of these and it's gonna be about 25 to 27 young people in each of these form classes. Um, however, when you go to your subjects, you get mixed up again, so you get the golden opportunity to meet more people and you'll get an opportunity to meet other people from different houses. So say in a maths class, I will have somebody from Campsie, Endrick and also Lomond together in those classes. And then I have to create what's known as practical classes. So these are classes like science um, and music. And in those classes, I can only have 20 pupils. And so you'll be with different people yet again. And we mix them up and mix everybody up. And this just gives you a real great opportunity to get to know new people, uh, people from different primary schools um, that you haven't met before. 
um, and it just is a really good way of getting to, to know one another. Uh, and the fun classes themselves, what I try to do is get an equal mix of, of boys and girls um, in those as well um, and mix them up a bit. But I've got a team who help me to kind of put the classes together and equally I speak to your P7 teachers and I get lots of information from them as well. So please do not worry. See this as an opportunity whereby you can maybe start to meet more people and broaden your friendship group. Thanks for clarifying that, um, Dr. Habquist. So the start of June for the primary sevens is uh, a time to, to look forward to. And just to, to finish off um, our first episode of the TV show, um, I wondered if, we, if you could give us um, your one top tip to the primary seven pupils. And I'm going to ask every guest that we have on um, the show with us over the next few weeks what their top tip is. Um, and I'm sure by the time our pupils come up in August, they are going to be full of top tips. So, um, Dr. Applequist, we'll come to you first. Your one top tip for pupils starting S1. Okay, so my top tip will be when you join us in August, um, there will be lots of opportunities to get involved with some extracurricular activities or the school's inter-house programme. So my advice to you is get involved in whatever takes your fancy, um, and that will give you an opportunity to make lots of new friends. Good tip, good tip. Um, Ms. Bantine. Oh, good one, Dr. Applequist. Um, I would say be yourself, um, do your best. I'm maybe going from, for more than one top tip, Mr. Lauder. Um, be kind to everyone around you. They are probably feeling much as you're feeling and don't be afraid to reach out if you need a hand. And on that note, that brings us to the end. Thank you very much for watching episode one of Balfour High School Transition TV. Thank you to Dr. Applequist and Miss Ballantyne for joining us. We hope you found it informative. We hope you find it useful. Um, and please make sure you tune in next week for another episode when we'll catch up with two other members of staff. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.